rescheduled weather date for the flyover, Lainey? What does that look like from your perspective? <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, so much pressure because unfortunately, after having gorgeous weather all weekend, we've got days of rain. So there is a chance that we may be even pushing from Tuesday, Wednesday to a different day. And I haven't even been told when that day is, but we'll be sure to let you know. You know, out there today, we had lots of sun, lots of warmth, and yes, a few clouds kind of billowing up out there over Greensboro. In fact, over much of the area, if you take a look at our visible satellite picture, I want you to notice where the clouds are coming from. Usually they come from the east when and only when we have a tropical system. And yes, that is what is happening. So those clouds are actually moving in from Burlington to Greensboro and then up the mountains. And we've just seen a few patchy clouds. So that's all coming off of that tropical storm, Arthur, that is down to the southeast, bringing more cloud cover, of course, to the coast and even bringing a few rain bands in. Now, we haven't seen a whole lot of lightning with this just yet. Most of the very heavy rain and storms are staying offshore at least for now. Notice the rain to our west too because that's going to be key in our forecast. In fact, the days of rain I'm talking about, they're not tropical. No, this storm system that's on the coast is going to move away. It's an area of low pressure from the west that's actually going to kind of sit and spin overhead that's going to create a kind of soggy week for us. But let's talk first about tropical storm Arthur. So the forecast track does have this moving very close to the North Carolina coast overnight and then through the day tomorrow kind of crossing near along if not just offshore of the Outer Banks and then turning away on Tuesday. It's going to pick up speed. It's not expected to pick up any strength and as you can see that storm system just sort of kind of continuing out over the Atlantic. So along the coast the showers have already arrived. Most of the very heavy rain and tropical storm force winds on the coast will take place during the day tomorrow. They could see close to three inches of rain from that weather system there is a tropical storm warning for the Outer Banks. And yes, there's the danger of rip currents as this storm system does make its way toward the coastal communities dangerous surf as well. You can see the tropical storm warning. It's from Surf City, North Carolina, all the way north to Duck. Look at some of the forecast winds, averaging about 20 to 30 miles an hour, but you will see as that eye comes very close to Hatteras, you're going to get a little bump in the wind speeds there. That's where those tropical storm force wind gusts could come into play during the day tomorrow. And then again, this storm system is moving away. Meanwhile, we've had warmth across our area, 80s to the coast, 80s here. We're at 81 in Winston-Salem, 80 in Martinsville, 73 in Galax. Our high today was up to 82, so we're just a little bit above normal. The temperatures are coming down because rain is going to be coming down. There's nothing right around here now, but we could have a spotty shower, some fog and drizzle by daybreak tomorrow with temperatures in the mid-60s. Most of tomorrow, I think, we do without heavy rain, at least through lunchtime, but by afternoon and evening, we stand a better chance of rain coming in again from our west. And yes, there could be some thunderstorms with that as well. So we are concerned about that, especially by late tomorrow. Heavy rain could be in our forecast, especially in the mountains. So here's the forecast for the triad. The temperatures, I think, struggle, but they should make it into the low to mid 70s with the best rain and storm chance holding off until afternoon. For the foothills, temperatures are in the low to mid 70s as well, with storm chances increasing late in the day. And the mountain forecast also has rain and storms holding off largely until until after lunchtime. It's going to be a stormy and wet night tomorrow night as we could easily see one to three inches of rain in some of our mountain communities. Wouldn't be surprised to have some flooding concerns in our area this week. Most of the rain looks to take place Tuesday and then kind of hanging around on Wednesday. And then we'll try to have less and less rain on that seven day forecast as we go through the rest of this week. Back to you, Laura.